We responded and um, on arrival we saw a wooden elevated structure engulfed in flames. We got into firefighting mode extinguishing that particular fire after which as per normal an investigation commenced into trying to determine ownership and the cause and the origin. We learned that um, the building which was unoccupied at the time of the fire <coughs> was being owned by Stanley Renault. Those football people might know him as Jordan. The building was unoccupied. It had no electricity. Uh, fortunately, our team managed to suppress the fire before the building was totally gutted. The structure remained heavy heavy damage was sustained to the building. We've learned that the um, fire originated in the rear of the building, which it would make reference as the southeastern portion of the building near the sea. Um, due to the, 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 the use of the building, it, it wasn't occupied. We found the remains of what was a uh, chair we couldn't find any other um, household furnishings within the building. An extensive and thorough search of the area was conducted to try to determine the, the cause. Um, we can say that the cause was a malicious act by a person or persons unknown and for whatever reasons unbeknown to us. However, a malicious act doesn't always mean that you're going to use some sort of accelerant. Um, today, the, the building you're in is the fuel load as is, so there is no need for, for an accelerant to be used. The location where we noticed this fire started from was at the rear, out of the view of the closest neighbor, so that gave the perpetrators enough time to create their mischief and abandon the scene without being noticed.